welcome to day 22 of the 25 apps in 25 days series, the daily series where I show off a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I've linked a playlist down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, we have a free and open source app that makes cleaning up gallery a dead easy task. As always, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors, but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the digital products that I sell on my website, all of which will of course be linked below. And I do wanna quickly highlight the companion app to this series, My App Shelf, which is a library of hand-picked app recommendations from yours truly. We literally add brand new app recommendations every single day, so it's definitely worth checking out. But with that being said, let's take a look at Day 22's application. All right, the app we're looking at today is called Photo Swooper. And as I said, it is a free and open source app that essentially uses a Tinder style interface to help you organize all the photos and videos on your phone. You can download it via the F-Droid app and I will just let you know, I actually installed the app using the Installer X Revived app that I featured on day six, which is what has allowed me to bypass any restricted app settings that would usually show up if I just used the default installer instead, which saves a bucket load of time. So if you wanna skip all the permission stuff that you'll normally be presented with, then I recommend watching that video first and following the steps, then installing Photo Swooper using Installer X Revived instead. But once done with the app open, all I'm gonna do is tap on Skip Tutorial, then tap Allow All, and we'll be taken straight to the app. And that's kind of all there is to it. We'll now be presented with a carousel of all the photos and videos on our phone. And if we wanna save one, we swipe it right. And if we wanna delete one, we swipe it left. You then just literally repeat this process over and over until you see this review items interface. And when we tap that, we can then just check everything to confirm that there's nothing that we accidentally deleted added to this delete section. But once we're happy, we can then just tap on delete items. We can then tap allow and that's it. Those items will be fully deleted from your phone. You can also tap this filter button here to customize what files are shown. So you can choose to see only videos or photos or files over a certain size or even media that matches a particular search. So there's a stack of options for customizing what you're seeing in the carousel. We can also swipe up to come back into this menu here and tap here to see any statistics related to the app, like how many times you've swiped or how many items you've deleted and also how much space you've saved, all of which are empty for me because I've just set this app up. But then lastly, we also have this settings tab. This top behavior option is probably the most interesting to check out because it allows you to change a few key options like increasing how many swipes it takes before you see the review items interface. So you may feel like increasing this all the way to 100 if you like. Then you can set up whether the app should permanently delete photos straight away instead of the default option of just sending them to your phone's trash. You can also enable this skip review screen toggle which will just immediately delete any photos or videos as you swipe them rather than having to open that review screen interface. And there's also a few other tweaks that you can make as well if you feel so inclined. But that's all there is to it. And I think aside from the functionality and the fact that it's open source, I also just really dig the very modern Material 3 inspired design with all of these sleek and bouncy animations. It really just does feel like an app that Google would make themselves. But there you have it. That is Photo Swooper and that is day 22 complete. As always, don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But aside from that, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.